guys, I'm Miss Michelle and this is Miss Caitlin. I'm so excited that you're here today. You know why? Because we're going to have a picture party. But it's not just a baby baby picture party. Nope, it's a super duper picture party. During our super duper picture party, we're going to learn that God made everything and it's good. That's our big idea for the day. Can you say that with me? God, God made everything, everything and it's, it's good. good. Wow, nice job. It's true. God made everything and it's good. Do you know how we know that? Because the Bible tells us so. In fact, that's our memory verse from the Bible. And it says, well, let me teach you. Here we go. Ready? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1 1. Great job. Let's do that together. Ready? Here All we right. go. In, In the beginning, beginning God, God created, created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1 1. Great job. It's time for worship now. Let's sing and dance and praise God. In the beginning, God made everything. Everything. Beginning, God made everything, everything. Sing it out on day one. God made night and day. On day two, God made the sky and sea. On day three, God made the land and trees. On day four, the sun and the moon and the stars. On day five, a fish and birds that flew. On day six, the animals and people.
the happy dance. Topher the gopher. One, two, three. Digs a hole right under me. Slowly I start sneaking down until I'm sitting on the ground. I think you're ready for the Bible story. Before we get started, though, I think we need to put on our pay attention glasses, get our listening ears, and zip lock and button our lips. Are we ready? Here's our pay attention glasses. Good job. Reach up high and grab those listening ears and click those on. Are they straight? Yes. Good job. Now on three, we're going to zip lock and button. One, two, three. Zip, lock, and button. And now let's get our hearts ready by praying. God, we love you so much. Help us to pay attention and learn from you during our story today. Amen. Amen. Today, we're going to play a super duper picture party game. And here's how the game works. We're going to draw a super duper picture and you get to guess what it is. Maybe we should play a practice round so you can see how it works. If you think you know what I'm drawing, then I want you to shout it out. Okay, here we go. You know what that is? What do you think? I don't know. Well, I know. it's actually the Earth. Did anybody guess Earth? Good job. Thanks. I guess it is pretty good, but do you know what? It's just a simple picture of the Earth. In today's True Bible Story, we're going to hear how God's creation was way, way, way better than mine. He didn't just create a picture of the Earth. He created the real earth. In fact, God created everything and it's good. If you're ready to hear the true Bible story, give me a big thumbs up. Great. Let's get started. Hmm. There's just one problem. I can't seem to remember where I put my Bible. Oh, is, um, it, is it over here? Let me see. Uh, in there? No. No. Aha. Uh -huh. I remember it's a super duper Bible box. <gasps> That's right. That's right. I need your help getting it out, though. We need to say our special Bible words together. Mm -hmm. Repeat these special words after me. It's true. It's true. The Bible is true. It's true. It's true. The Bible is true. Here's your Bible. We found it. In the very, very beginning of time, there was nothing, not a zilch. There were no grown-ups. There were no kids. There was no sky. There were no trees. There were no animals. There were no toys, no goldfish crackers, or anything at all. The only thing in the world was God. But then God created something. Let's see if you can guess what it is from my drawing. Okay. Ooh. I think I heard him. You got it. It's a light. On day one, God said, let there be light. And there was light. For the first time ever, the world had day and the world had night. God looked at the day and night he had created on day one and said, this is good. Can you say that with me? This, this is, is good. good. Okay. Are we ready? I'm going to draw something now and I want you guys to guess what it is. Remember, Miss Michelle isn't a really good artist. So here we go. What do you think these are? I heard it. They said clouds. Thank you for guessing. On day two, God said, let there be sky. And just like that, boom, there was a sky up above and water down below. God looked at the sky he had created on day two and said, this is good. Can you guys say that with me? Yeah. This, this is, is good. good. 
Let's see if you guys can guess who I'm drawing. I'm excited. You guys see it? Great work. It's a mountain. On day three, God said, let there be dry ground. And just like that, dry ground came up through the water and it pushed the water into giant pools. God called the dry ground land and he called the pools of water sea. But God wasn't finished. No, no, he wasn't. Now tell me if you can tell what this is. What is that? It is. It's a tree. You guys are doing my heart good. Thank you. On day three, God also said, let there be trees and plants. And just like that, the power of God's voice made trees and plants grow up out of the ground. Then God looked at the land and the seas and the plants and the trees that he had created on day three and said, this is good. Can you say that with me? This, this is, is good. good. All right, let's see. This is going to be maybe a super easy picture. All right, let guess. me see. Oh, I like that one. That's it. It's the sun. On day four, God said, let there be light in the sky. And just like that, God made the sun to shine during the day and the moon and stars to shine during the night. Then God looked at the sun and moon and stars he had created on day four and said, this is good. Can you say that with me? This, this is good. good. Okay, here we go. Are you guys ready? Let me see. Okay, guys, tell me if you know what I'm drawing. Ready? Here's one. Okay. And then here is the other one. What are those? Can you believe it? They guessed it. They yes, died. a bird and a fish. On day five, God said, let there be fish and birds. And just like that, there were fish swimming in the seas and birds flying in the sky. Then God looked at the fish and the birds that he had created on day five and said, this is good. Can you repeat that? This, this is good. good. Okay, this is going to be a tricky one. Ooh. Good job. I got to fix that. I think I might know what this is. <gasps> Do you guys know? Do you hear them? You're right. It's an elephant. On day six, God said, let there be animals on the land. And just like that, there were wild animals like elephants and tigers and porcupines and pandas. Then God looked at the animals he created on day six and said, this is good. Can you say that with me? This, this is, is good. good. And guess what? God wasn't finished. He saved his best creation for last. Let me see if you can guess what this is. But we need this. You're right. It's. People, God created people. We will learn all about that creation during next week's super duper picture party. God is so amazing. He made the light and the dark. He made the land and the sea. He made the sun and the moon. And he made the fish and the birds. God made everything. And it's good. Hey, that's our big idea for today. I think we should tell it to our parents when we see them. But maybe we should practice first. Okay. Hmm, who can we practice telling? I know, we can tell our friend Topher the Gopher. Let's see if we can find him. Oh, yeah, it looks like Topher's asleep again. I think we should wake him up. When he wakes up, we can all tell him that God made everything and it's good. On the count of three, let's all yell, Topher the Gopher, wake up, wake up. Ready? One, two, three. Topher the golfer, wake up, wake up. Hey, what's the big idea? God made everything and it's good. Wow, that is a big idea. Thanks for telling me. Bye. 
Let's all wave to Topher. Let's say a prayer together and thank God for creating such an amazing world. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you for creating this amazing world. Thank you for creating this amazing world. You are such a powerful God. You are such a powerful God. And we love you so much. And we love you so much. Amen. Amen. It's time for our blessing now. Hold out your hands to receive it. Children, may you always remember that God made our whole amazing world.